Hi, good afternoon. This is Stormy Shu of coming at you from Muncie, Indiana. Um, before we begin, I want to clear up a couple of misunderstandings from my f previous two blogs. In my introductory blog, I used the phrase, we're stuck here in Indiana until our youngest son graduates. When I said stuck, by no means did I mean that we can't go to Kentucky because of our son. Um, that's just bullshit. And to be quite honest with you, I'm pretty pissed off that uh, my son was led to believe that I said that when it's not how I said it. Yes, I did say we're stuck in Indiana until our son graduates from high school. If you knew me at all, you would know that I have used the term stuck in Indiana ever since moving up here in 1998. Had you emailed me or called me or something like that to ask me before shooting your mouth off, then uh, that wouldn't have been an issue. So, uh, no, we choose to be here in Indiana until our son graduates from the high school he has chosen to graduate from. So, from now on, if you don't understand my phrasing or you think I said something wrong, or something like that, email me and ask me, or post something to MySpace. Don't assume you know what the hell I'm talking about. When you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. And quite frankly, I don't like being made an ass of. So, I hope that's cleared up now. We're by no means stuck. We choose to be here. And no, my son is not allowed to move in with anybody else so that Darren and I can go to Kentucky. We don't want to do that, and we're not going to do that. So give it up. Um, I said in my last video blog that I hadn't cut in over a year. That was a misunderstanding on my part. I tend to suffer from CRS. That CRS stands for can't remember shit. My mind is screwed up where I'm off my meds right now. I do tend to lose track of time and there have been times that I've thought that it, it was the next month. You know, so it's not surprising that I did that. Um, do I forget when I cut? Not technically. Do I forget when I cut? Oh, yeah. So, uh, anyway, so now that's cleared up. Um, okay, let's go on. Today is February 13th, 2008. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, 2008. Uh, did you get your love anything for Valentine's Day? Stuck for ideas? There's all kinds of homemade things that you can do uh, that come out. Uh, cheap but elegant. Shabby chic, I guess is what it's called now. Anyway, a simple handwritten love letter. That's one of the best gifts you could ever give the love of your life. Um, did you watch Big Brother 9 last night? You know I did. I was sitting there when it came on, of course. And um, I don't really like the twist for this new winter season that Big Brother 9 is doing. The whole Till Death Do You Part thing. Ryan and Jen came into the house and they are a real life couple and Big Brother paired them up with other people. Jen being paired up with Parker and uh, Ryan being paired up with the little bikini coffee bunny. Uh, I don't think Ryan's going to make it very far in the game because he watches Jen and Parker's every move in case you watched and you didn't notice that. And uh, then there's Sheila the Dragon and Adam the Not-So-Innocent. And they're going at it tooth and nails from the get-go. Of course, Sheila started this, you know, by stating right off the bat, please don't let me get stuck with Adam. Give me a break. She's our crier for this season, folks. But uh, she will... I... I'll be surprised if Sheila and Adam don't get the axe first. Just like Jen said on the program, uh, 
she's thinking about Sheila just because she is so full of negative energy and bringing that into the house. Nobody wants to be around that shit. You know, and not to mention that she was the oldest there in the house and that she didn't like that fact either. So, whatever, Sheila, calm down. Uh, what about Potty Boy from Charleston, Mass? The construction worker slash roofer. Uh, he's kind of full of himself. He's a cutie, but he's too full of himself for it to work. Um, I think he's in for a rude awakening this season. Then there's um, Jacob and his ex-girlfriend whom cheated, whom he cheated on, um, so she says, and she was not happy at all about being paired up with him. Jacob is trying to make the best out of the situation. I do believe he wants to get back with her, uh, just from listening to everything that he said and all that, but she is by no means ready to forgive, and I'm quite certain that she's never going to forget. That's just the way women are. Not dogging on women, mind you, but yeah. It is so cold here today. It's not even funny. Uh, Heather, I didn't get your snow. Sorry it backfired on you. You know, maybe you'll think twice now before sending snow to over here to the States. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I know you got blasted with it. And I hope you're doing okay and you didn't hurt yourself when you was out there shoveling. So, uh, die. I hope you're feeling better. Um, I know you was feeling pretty lousy yesterday. And I'm sorry I didn't get a weblog up for you yesterday. I just simply didn't get around to it. You know how shit like that goes. Uh, what would you all think about me doing a webcast called Late Night with Stormy? I'm seriously giving this some consideration. Um, I want to thank all of my friends right off the bat right now for supporting me in my weblog that I'm doing here. I've gotten a lot of great compliments on it from my friends uh, at, on my bipolar forum and I've gotten some com great comments from my friends on MySpace. A couple of emails. Real encouraging folks and I appreciate it very much. Um, Maybe I'll start late night with Stormy tonight. Who knows? I'll keep you posted. Have a great day, everybody. This is Stormy She-Wolf, also known as Stormy Weather, signing off from Metsy, Indiana. Have a good one. See you. Bye.